In this video, we'll look at whether lead 2 bromide, that's PBBr2, is soluble or insoluble in water. The short answer is that it's slightly soluble in water, kind of in between soluble and insoluble, but closer to insoluble. So these are the solubility rules, a set of the solubility rules. And as we go down, we're looking for, here it is, the bromide ion. So in general, when we have this Br in a compound, this bromide ion in a compound, they're soluble, except though, for this lead 2 ion. We know this is lead 2 because bromine forms 1 minus ions. We have two of those. This has to be 2 plus. So for the Pb2 plus, this is an exception to our rule, and we expect the PbBr2 will be insoluble in water, according to our rules here. Let's take a look at a solubility chart, a portion of a solubility chart, to see what that says. So on our chart, here's lead 2, Pb2 plus, and here's the bromide ion, Br minus. We go over and up. And there's SS, slightly soluble. When we see slightly soluble, it means only a little bit is going to dissolve. It's not completely insoluble, but for the purpose of many things in chemistry, like net ionic equations, we're going to consider this insoluble. Let's quickly take a look at some data, though, to see what that says. So here's our lead 2 bromide, and we're going down looking for solubility. And here's solubility. So 0 0.455 grams per 100 milliliters at 0 degrees Celsius. So not very much dissolves. We consider it slightly soluble. So based on the solubility rules, the solubility chart, and then this data here, we consider PBBR2 to be slightly soluble. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.